There is a feature inside your YouTube dashboard that literally tells you which video to make next. But does it actually work? I made a video purely based on this tool to see if I could get some more views for my channel. And you might be surprised by the final results. If you're lacking inspiration, then coming up with new video ideas can sometimes seem like a very tough process. You could try copying other creators within your niche, you could try doing some brainstorming, but what most people don't realise is that YouTube themselves can give you some personalised video ideas based on your channel's audience. If you open up your YouTube dashboard and head over to the analytics page, you should then see a tab at the top that says research. This feature was first introduced in 2022 and it allows creators to do some keyword research for their videos without downloading any third party software like TubeBuddy or vidIQ. Now, the research tab is fairly basic when you compare it to those other plugins, but firstly, it's completely free. And second, I still think it has some really useful suggestions. So first, let me show you exactly how it works. And then I'm gonna show you how I use this tool to come up with my latest video. When you select the research tab in your analytics, the section is divided into three different tabs. First, you have searches across YouTube. If you already have a video topic idea or a topic phrase and you want to check if people are actually searching for it, you could just type it right here into the search box and the results will show you the exact phrases that people are searching for across YouTube that relate to that topic, as well as ranking each phrase as low, medium or high in terms of search volume. And you can look into the numbers even further by clicking on the three dots on the right hand side and opening up the graphs inside Google Trends. So basically, this is going to give you an idea about whether people are interested in this topic and whether it's worth making a video on. But this first tab is just giving us data based on YouTube as a whole. And the most interesting part of this research tool is in the second option called Your Viewers Searches. This section gives you a list of search terms and phrases that your audience has been searching for within the last 28 days, which is an extremely valuable insight for anybody who makes YouTube videos. And you can even save some of these ideas for later to build a backlog of video ideas to come back to. Now, some of these search terms will seem quite random and pretty irrelevant when it comes to your channel, but alongside those, there should be a few of them that are ready-made video ideas that you can use. So does using one of these phrases for a video actually work in getting your channel some more views? But before we jump into my real world experiment, I want you to let me know down in the comments below how you get your video ideas. Do you search for keywords on YouTube or do you do something else? Let me know. So a few weeks back, I decided to make this video purely based on what the research tab recommended to me. If you're already subscribed to this Veed Creators channel, then you might have already seen it. And if you're not subscribed, then what are you waiting for? As you can see in the list in my research tab, one of the search terms was how to delete YouTube channel, which is basically a YouTube title that's ready to use. And as well as having a high search volume ranking, it's also been labeled as a content gap, which I think might be the coolest feature within this research tab. A content gap means that YouTube has identified this video idea as something that my audience is either struggling to find or the current content based on that idea is old or out of date. So there's potential here for me to fill a void on YouTube that my audience is looking for. Now, before we go any further, I do need to mention that just because a search term has a high search volume doesn't mean it's a good idea for your channel. For example, if you click on one of these phrases and open up the YouTube search results, often the top results will be huge creators with lots and lots of subs. We're already dominating that keyword so much that it's gonna be very hard for you to compete with. Which is again why that content gap label is just so useful. And you can even narrow down your research tab to only show you content gaps if that's something that you'd prefer. So I went ahead and made a video based on this delete channel search term. I put the key phrase in the title, description and tags and then uploaded it to my channel. Now, normally with a keyword focused video like this, I wouldn't necessarily expect it to get lots of views right away because it can take a little while for your search terms to actually appear in search results. But within the first few days of this video, it actually performed fairly well. As expected, most people were finding the video from YouTube and Google search because think about it, People are searching for this video because it answers a specific question. It's not necessarily something that my subscribers are gonna be interested in. The views did end up tailing off slightly, mainly because I think the audience retention wasn't that great. But with keyword focused content, I do expect it to do better in the long term rather than the short term. And also for this specific idea based on deleting YouTube channels, 
It's not necessarily going to be a great video for building an audience because, well, they're not sticking around, are they? And obviously, just because YouTube has labelled something as a content gap doesn't mean that it's going to be an automatic success. You still need to work really hard at making the video as high quality as possible and also work on that description, work on that thumbnail to make it as enticing as possible. Now on the subject of thumbnails, if you want to know what a good click-through rate is for your channel, then you need to watch this next and I'll see you guys in the next one.